what, what you get out is what you put in. So, you know, that hard work's gonna pay off in some way or another. And so, you know, it's just kind of keeping that mentality of, you know, keeping at the grindstone, just keep grinding. Where do you feel like you're better now than you were a few months ago? I would just say trust in the offense, you know, like just take what the defense is giving you. Don't overanalyze anything, you know, just go, go through your reads, one, two, three, or whatever the reads may be, and just trust in what the offense is doing against the defense, what the defense is showing you. You've been doing this now a couple seasons. Do you feel like the game is starting to slow down for you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So this is my uh, third year coming in, and so, you know, I would say every year, you know, the more comfortable you get with the offense, you also get more comfortable with the defenses and what they're showing you, and the game definitely starts to slow down. Do you acknowledge that your mentality that you were just talking about is not necessarily the norm in college football anymore? A lot of people are looking for greener pastures yeah. if things aren't going perfectly. You're kind of a bit of a throwback. Do yeah. you like even yeah, realize that? No, it's just kind of just kind of what I do, you know. I don't really kind of think about what everybody else is doing, all that transfer portal stuff, you know. You know, you just gotta keep your opportunities open, but you gotta make the most, you know. You can't focus on Plan B and Plan C. You gotta focus on Plan A first. Bryson, how's the talent in the wide receiver room compared to where it's been the last couple of years? Oh, we're looking great. You know, just guys we brought some new guys in, even just the dudes that have been here. You know, they've just been getting better and better, putting in extra work, and I just feel like the whole room is just kind of feeding off each other, and we've definitely grown a lot in, in that room. Who stands out among those guys, just in terms of like certain skill sets? I mean, just with guys that have like been here, like Money Parks, you know, the Bond Daily, those guys, those they, they just get better and better each and every year. Every time they step on that field, you know, they're always looking to get better. And then even just the new guys coming in with the transfer, Pittman and um, Mikey Matthews, the freshman, you know, just guys that come in, you know, everybody just kind of feeds off each other in that room. It's it's been great. If you get called on to be that starting quarterback against Florida, I mean. How, how do you approach that? What's your mindset, mentality with all that? You know, it's, it's got to be the same thing you, you, you prepare for as a backup. You know, you plan, you game plan, you go through the game plan. We got our plays we're going to run. And you just got to trust in the offense, trust in the coaching staff and the positions they're going to put you in against, you know, their defense. Uh, how much different is, is the game if, if you're able to be the full game plan instead of being thrown in the last minute like you have been in these last two cases? Yeah, I mean, you kind of got to, I guess there is, you know, there would be a different mindset, but you don't really know that situation until you're really in it. But you know, you always have to prepare for whether you're a third string or even a fourth string. You know, you never know when one guy can go down. You know, the third string two hits away. So you know, you kind of got to be ready for uh, anything that comes your way. For sure. Can we do one for Who on the defense is making your your job the hardest as quarterbacks? Yeah, all eleven of them. Yeah, I mean, we got a solid defensive crew. I mean, just the, the front line. You know, creating havoc. You know. And then the, all the way to your linebackers, to your nickels, your safeties, your corners. I mean, we got 11 ballers on defense. It's great to see. Who talks the most? Who talks the most? Shit. <laughs> Probably Cole Bishop. Cole Bishop. Wow. Shit.